stage of things? Yeah, it's been fun so far. Um, kind of went by fast, you know, last OTA practice was today. Um, but the first two phases were fun. You know, we did uh, minimal stuff on the football field, a lot of strength conditioning, uh, running on the field, um, and then really got into it with phase three and OTAs with the coaches and stuff like that and got to know, you know, those specific coaches really well. Um, love the defense. I ran a similar uh, defense my rookie year here with Vance, too, so. Kind of going back to that point last year, you mentioned how comfortable you were with uh, Coach Ebro's scheme. Any differences, or is, is there a learning curve to adjust here with, uh, with Vance's? There's a little bit. Um, CP, one of the other coaches, also brought some of the lingo from last year um, and kind of made it easier for us to transform into those different calls or move our calls over into different adjustments. Um, but it's probably pretty similar defense, so pretty uh, simple to run. What is it about Vance that guys like playing for him? Straightforward dude. Um, you know, he's going to tell you exactly how he feels, and that's how I felt about the last couple of DCs too. Um, but uh, very communicative about stuff. Um, Likes to get it out there. If you have questions, he loves to answer them. And loves to talk about that. So I feel like everybody has a good connection with him. A uh, very personable guy. You can talk to him easy. Um, and that's the best part about it. What do you think about uh, them making uh, Alex a priority and getting him back to tag team with you? Yeah, that's awesome. Um, it'll be fun this year. I'm, I'm excited to play beside him again and actually get some reps, you know, in the preseason, get some reps in the OTAs with him um, and a guy that, you know, I'm going to play with. So it'll, it's going to be fun. It's it's been good so far. You know, we can do a wink and a nod, and he knows when to go, and I know when to switch it and stuff like that. So it's been fun to be able to understand uh, each other's brains and when we're going to do things. Greg Nelson has been around football for a long time. What, what's he What's he like? Yeah, a lot of energy. Good dude. Um, you know, he played for a while. I think it's like 12 years. Uh, so, you know, he's had that experience. He knows what, to play, uh, he knows what it's like to play in the league um, and a great coach overall. Uh, you know, it's football knowledge guy. Well, speaking of that, uh, Sean Payton, Yeah, the organization is awesome with the culture that he's brought in. Um, and uh, another guy that's going to tell you how he feels, um, no bull crap stuff. It's direct, which is awesome. Uh, and, uh, yeah, like I said, the culture is great. Um, the way he puts things, he puts them very blatant and very straightforward. So you know what you got to do. And <clears throat> that's what we're going to do every single day, and that's what we've been doing the last couple of days. Obviously, Teddy added Drew Sanders in the offseason and the draft. What have you seen from him specifically just as a young guy who's got a lot of athleticism to him? What does he bring to the yeah, he's got a unique set of skills. I mean, he's a guy that can also come on the outside. Um, you know, I saw some college stuff that he was in OLB back in the day. Um, so good versatility for him. Um, uh, pretty smart guy and uh, very quiet so far. So still trying to get to know him. Um, but uh, it's been fun for the first, you know, couple of weeks of OTAs um, to get to know these younger guys like Seth Benson and, and Drew. Um, great dude so far. So I love the room. Joe, what's your take uh, so far on how guy you're in North Nigeria? Lineman as he continues to adjust to American football area. Yeah, I mean, that guy's got some length. Um, he's, he's very strong. Uh, it looks good out there, though. I mean, I've, I've seen some great things from him and uh, love to see that. The, the situational stuff that you guys are doing at the beginning today, just with how detail oriented Sean is and you know, stopping you guys, bringing you guys and talking about certain situations, how, how rare is that? And have you learned anything? I think you said there were like 43 different end of half. Right. I've done some of this stuff before with other coaches, but this is definitely um, very detailed, very specific to things, um, which is great because, I mean, you think about the NFL games, they all come down to a one score game usually, um, and a lot of it come down to two minutes. So that's a huge um, priority for us, um, ending the game on, you know, on the right note um, and the specific situation of whether you're down three, up three, down six, stuff like that. Joe, you know, is probably the person who watches the most Iowa football of anybody in this room. No. I'm excited where you're Riley Moss. Got drafted. What can you tell us after watching most of his games? Did you know him at all? Uh, didn't know know him very well. No, I uh, just saw him play at Iowa. Uh, heard a little bit about him, him and Seth both. So uh, it's great to see them out here. Um, Riley's had a couple of good days. Uh, I think he stopped Judy one of these days one on one. So you have to you know, to say something to Judy about it. He's a little upset. So a lot of bickering back and forth. Um, but no, love to have those Iowa guys here. Um, I think. Uh, they had a, a similar culture, you know, back at Iowa compared to what uh, Coach is bringing now. When you have, you get Jonas back healthy, add Drew to the room, and does it feel like the depth in your room can maybe be at a different level than it than it was last year for sure? Yeah, yeah, I think we got a lot of great guys, uh, whether it be Jonas, Drew, um, and Justin. I think those guys are really good and 
you never know what will happen um, with other linebackers too. Uh, they could possibly get in there uh, depending how, you know, this camp goes next week and then also camp in the fall. So we'll see how it goes. But right now, I mean, there's a good amount of depth back there with guys I would trust. Coach Payton talked uh, today just about going over with the players, you know, the gambling policy with that being in the news. What was that meeting like and that sort of thing? Yeah, uh, that was also to the point. Uh, exactly what you can and you can't do. Um, there's also a difference between players and coaches, what players can do versus coaches can do. Um, so, yeah, it's crazy. I just uh, like to stay out of it and hopefully don't get in trouble with any of that stuff. So, But it's, yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of that lately coming out, and he was very uh, precise on what exactly you can and can't do. Jeremy, thank you. Thank you, Jeremy.